what inspired you to write a book about 22 blessings and what's one of the blessings coming from like jackson mississippi i love my city but we, as we know we we are we do have a high crime rate you know a high poverty level so when you're growing up in certain environments it make you think a certain type of way and because you think a certain type of way then your actions follow according to how you see yourself and so um like i said when i was young in and out of the streets it just you know just because i didn't see myself properly so now i'm trying to push the narrative of okay it's so much the world has to offer to us, you know what I mean? So it's just about getting out and getting the exposure and seeing the world. So now I'm trying to push that mission to the youth. What do you think is the most shocking detail about your story so far? That's the name of the book, actually. 22 is, is the number of times I got shot. So <laughs> I believe, it. yeah, it's, it's hard to believe. Many people, wouldn't, unless you, I show you my scars, or you see the pictures, you wouldn't even believe. It. Yeah, actually got shot 22 times, eight times my left leg. Uh, eight times my right leg, six times my left leg, three times in both arms, and my neck and my chest. If you don't want to answer, you don't have to, but do you mind talking about how you ended up getting shot so many times? Yeah, I actually got shot by the uh, police, the police station, because I was in a, a bank robbery <laughs> at the age of 16. And when I stopped the car, it automatically got shot up. So, but, but, like I said, but partially it's on me as well, you know what I mean? Just because uh, when you're doing crimes and then in the nature, that's that's what can happen. So, but yeah, that's what had happened. So once I stopped the car, it was like a high speed chase, and then the incident. So you were 16 and you got shot 22 times. Yeah, 16. So and I wrote the book when I was 17. So it's just not getting published, or you just now like yeah, kind of. Yeah, because I had to, once I got shot. That was March 14th of 2017, and so um, then I had to go. I had, of course, I went to jail uh, October 19, 2017. And so once I got out, that's so that's like a year in itself, just the process. And then when I got out, I uh, graduated on time from Callaway High School, Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, then I started going to Holmes Community College. Uh, I'm an artist as well, so I do music. And then I took a year off from college. And then I went to, I'm currently attending Alcorn State University. So, like I said, between music, school, my daughter, I got a beautiful daughter now, uh, Damari Jones. So being a, between being a dad, the artist, and a student, I'm, I was constantly going, you know. So as I got to a place where, I, like, with um, the pandemic, it gave me a time just to sit down again on a positive note. Speaking to kids that think that street life and other things like that are for them right now, what do you say? Mm -hmm. Say clear. It's so much, so much, so much out in the world. You know what I mean? We got so many blessings, so many opportunities. What is school, trade? Or just like I said, following your passions and dreams. I think most the most important thing is everybody finding what's for them and what you truly love. But in finding what you love, you have to have to find yourself. 